All right, teach you how to kickflip today. Kickflips, pretty easy trick, but hard if you're just starting out. Main thing I'd say is learn how to ollie first and obviously get comfortable on your board with like balance and all that stuff. Maybe some shoves, 180s, just to get the comfortability. You wanna have your feet kind of like the front foot behind the bolts. I like to put it about right there. And with your back foot, I like to be like right on my toes on the tail as well. So my feet are like one foot's at an angle and then my back foot's pretty straight out. The main thing is like making sure you really pop the trick first. If you're worried too much about the flick and not the pop, it just like, just like gets away from you kind of. So you want to make sure you actually pop hard and then flick out. And honestly, I think this trick's kind of easier while you're moving. When you're just learning it, you might be, you know, scary. So you might want to do it while you're just standing still. But I always, even though as a kid, I always thought it was easier to do it while I was moving, even if it's just a little bit, just to get the momentum to go forward. Because your flick is going forward. So I felt, always felt like it was easier to actually ride while you're doing it. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes it primos when you're standing still, but that one actually kind of worked out. So your feet are like that, like I showed you. I'll show you with my hands. So your foot is straight this way, and your back, or your front foot. I like to put it right on this bolt here. I don't know, it's just a comfortability. Everybody's different, but that's what I like. And then you just pop it, and then as you pop it, just like an ollie, but you flick out to the side. And when you flick out to the side, you can even see it on my board right here. See that white mark? That's literally a kickflip mark right there. So you can see exactly where your foot kind of wants to go. You want to aim right for that corner of the nose. So another thing you want to know is the timing of the flick too. Like I was saying, like if you don't hit that pop first and then you just flick it really fast, you're not going to get a nice smooth pop. So you want to treat it kind of like an ollie. And you know how when you ollie, it's like you snap and then your front foot goes up, like all in like kind of one motion, but it's like pop, then up and it levels it out. So it's the same idea with the kick flip. Then you want to flick to the corner of the nose. Oh, hopefully not like that, but it's a start. One thing I used to do when I was a kid and I used to see other kids trying it when I was teaching them in like skate camp or whatever, is uh, kids would go like this and they would only put one foot on, like on their back foot or their front foot. But that's just a commitment thing. Like if you can get that flick and land with either of your feet, you just have to jump above it and put both feet on as if it's an ollie. Realistically, you're just being afraid. So don't be afraid of it and just stick it. Some are gonna primo, some are gonna land upside down, but it's the way of the game. And once you actually land on it, you'll be stoked. Another thing that you could also think about when you're doing it, your posture when you're skating, like kind of the direction you're facing. So when your feet are set up, I like to be like my body's this way and not, not like this. Look, I'm facing you. Yeah, see? Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you. When you learn kick flips, then you can learn fakey flips. It's the same thing, but you're just going backwards. So if you're comfortable with riding your skateboard, fakey, you can literally just do a fakey flip. And it's the same trick. That one was gross though. So we'll run it back. But it's the same idea. My shoulders are the same way. And I just do the exact same technique. Same, same, but different. I actually find fakie flips a little easier. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the momentum of going backwards and flicking away from the momentum of it. But, <laughs> but I, if, you, if kick flips are a little harder for you because you're going straight or you're going forward, then maybe try riding backwards to try fakie flip. Even if you're going slow, it might actually help you a bit. Helped me when I was growing up learning the trick. But yeah, try it out. When you learn them, you can do them into tricks like kick flip manuals. You can do kickflip manis. You can do them out of shit, into shit, once you get a little more comfortable with it, but yeah. All right, so that's the kickflip. Uh, go try them out. Hopefully this video helped you out. Um, I tried to explain to the best of my abilities. There's a lot of lightning over there, holy shit. But yeah, if you guys liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. If there's any more trick tips you want or whatever, just comment. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll catch you in the next one. This guy. Thank you.